Hey YouTube, it's Shannon Max, Weight Loss Journal. How are you? Um, so I have some stuff here that I want to go over with you. Um, I went to a nutritional class at Dr. Kim's and I am like on nutrition overload and I need your help. I am, this is probably like the hardest thing for me is making healthy food choices and being disciplined about it. Um, and I think a lot of people are, I mean, I think a lot of people overweight that's, we emotionally eat or we stress eat and we don't choose the best option. So, um, when your stomach actually shrinks, you have to make sure that what you put into it is nutrition and very strategic because you can only put so much in. So, she gave a little cheat sheet here. I don't know if you can see that. It's backwards. <laughs> uh, to me, anyway. Um, so, these are things I did not know um, that I thought might be useful. So, basically, 15 uh, grams of carbohydrate covers your starch, your fruit, and your yogurt. As, you know, when you're kind of looking on the labels, uh, the nutritional facts of products, you know, you can just zoom down to the carbs, um, and see if any of these apply. If it's over 15, uh, like if it's 30, then you can only have half of it. And that would be one serving. Um, seven grams of protein is one ounce of meat or protein serving. Um, five grams of fat is one fat serving and five grams of carbohydrate is one vegetable serving, which is about a half a cup. Um, there's so many, she gave us like all of this information and I, you can see I have like scribble everywhere cause I was just like, ah! um, this is one thing that was, I knew was coming, but it was like very hard to hear six weeks before you can have solid food once you start your liquid diet a week prior week prior to surgery so when you start that six weeks later is before you can have solid food so um there are three different meal planners here and i'm kind of curious what's worked best for you um I mean, initially looking at it, the Berry Balanced seems like um, the best option. Seems a little more kind of middle of the road. It's having a meal in the morning and then having a shake and then having lunch and then a shake, a meal replacement, protein shake, and then a meal. Um, and the meals consist of... Um, in the morning, one to two proteins, a dairy, veggie, fruit, starch, and fat. And then your lunch is two to three proteins, a veggie, fruit, starch, and one to two fats. And then your meal, your third meal is two to three proteins, a veggie, fruit, starch, and one to two fats. Um, so as you can see, um, I'm a little overwhelmed. There's also a berry carb controlled, um, where I think you cut out all your dairy, very little veggie or fruit, um, and you're upping your proteins, three to five proteins a day. Um, and then there's also a berry essential where you're basically just really leaning on protein drinks and really only eating lunch and dinner. Um, with like three to five proteins. Um, so I'm just kind of curious how you guys meal plan and what works best for you um, because I'm officially overloaded with information and just really looking for some guidance on, you know, what you do. Um, do you have products that you would suggest or encourage? Um, I've been watching your videos and I've ordered some things on Amazon and I'll do a video kind of reviewing those things. Um, but just kind of curious on the meal planning. 
Um, and then other things, you know, that I just kind of found interesting, you know, during the class was, um, well, before surgery, um, is 1200 calories. Your goal after surgery is 600. So you basically cut it in half. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, but it has to be done. So I'm going to figure it out. Okay, I'm back. I had to go put my glasses on. Some things that she, the nutritionist, did kind of give her a OK on or approve um, would be um, sugar-free extracts to kind of flavor your drinks and your, your protein drinks or your protein shakes um, to give them more taste, uh, sugar-free popsicles, um, any types of broth, um, you know, that maybe you could put like a little cream of mushroom or different things in just to kind of flavor it up a little bit. And then crystal light was something that she um, talked about. Uh, I use Splenda um, in teas and, you know, just as a sweetener in general. Um, no caffeine. Um, I'm not, tea's really the only caffeine I drink, unless I'm having like a cocktail and I have a crown and coke. Um, but there's no caffeine or alcohol for six months to a year. I'm single. I live downtown. Like my girls and I, we love our cocktails. So this is going to be uncharted territory for me I mean I'm not like alcoholic or anything but you know we go to happy hour a couple times a week so um if I go and just I'm just gonna have to you know bear take take one for the team and be there for my girls but just um you know make better choices um or have them over to my place more um and they can have their cocktails and I'll have my crystal light. Uh, here's another one I hadn't heard before that you can't eat and drink at the same time. Um, like 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after you eat, you can drink. And I'm a big drinker when I eat, so that will be um, a huge change. But apparently it's because they don't want you to wash away the nutrients while you eat so it needs time to absorb and then um, chewable liquid uh, powder um, vitamins things of that nature um, and then chew 25 times I'm not a big chewer so I'm gonna have to start doing that um, and then just in general no portions larger than a half a cup if that which is four ounces Caffeine um, causes ulcers and also stimul stimulates in you, obviously, because it's caffeine. So it's important not to have caffeine. So um, coffee, tea, all those things, you just want to make sure that it's decaf or caffeine-free. I would show you my fifth grade <laughs> drawing of a six and nine inch plate and what she said, but... Um, it's very embarrassing, but that's basically what it looks like. Pre-surgery is nine inch plate, and then after surgery is a six inch plate. So, uh, she also suggested like getting sippy cups, baby spoons, divided plates, things with sm small portions or things that are going to make you sip because we're so used to gulping everything down. All in all, that is the overview of the meeting with the nutritionist. I hope that you found that helpful. And again, this is not my point of expertise. So I'm needing all the help I can get. Please uh, leave your suggestions, comments, shoot me an email, uh, and let me know what works for you.